Welcome to Motoshi Hub Explorer. This is the second video of the video series where I would like to share interesting cutting edge frontier of hub plane. Um, today I would like to share uh, the idea of how to play blues on harp. Usually you don't associate blues uh, with this instrument harp. Often harp means harmonica when you say blues harp. But this instrument is actually uh, pretty good for blues. Of course, um, it took a little while for me to figure out how to play blues on this kind of harp. And, but I use a lot of idea I learned as a guitarist. So by the way, I was a guitarist a, playing blues or jazz and before I started playing harp when I was 27 years old. So I was uh, already kind of you know, established jazz blues guitarist uh, try to uh, play harp. So my technique and my approach is uh, often reflecting my experience as a, a jazz blues guitarist. So I would like to demonstrate the kind of a straight ahead uh, jazz, uh, blues improvisation on this video. And before I start playing a, the tune, I would like to go through a kind of technique I'm going to use a, a little bit with you so and you can get the idea uh, how I'm playing the blues on the harp. To play blues, uh, you need to kind of mimic the sound of bending note. Like uh, in the guitar, you use the uh, technique is called choking and you actually stretch the um, string and you bend the note half step or a whole step often. So on the harp actually we can't do that but uh, we have pedals and in this pedal is often we change the pedal before we pluck strings. For example this is C and if you want to have a C sharp, you change the pedal and then pluck, so you get a C sharp. But if you pluck string first and then change the pedal, you can change the note like a, almost sounds like a bending. So, like this. So, this technique is called uh, pedal grissando and kind of modern technique. Are on the beat, I, I press the pedal after I play the strings. Two, one, two, something like that. So, one, two, three, one, two, three, right? Or, I did the D, D sharp, D, D, D sharp, D. That's a pedal we sound like. And you can get a nice kind of blues bending note sound like this. And also, on harp, it's difficult to stop the strings. So, for example, if you pluck harp, it's keep ringing until you stop it. But like a blues or jazz, you want to have a crisp, uh, short notes often, like a Something like that. So I try to intentionally stop strings uh, in the middle of the phrase or at the end of the phrase, um, wherever I feel I want to stop. So um, stopping on a good timing is another important uh, technique you have to learn to play blues. And Another thing it's very important is you have to keep the nice groove going on. Um, to do that, um, I often uh, can use the repetitive bass patterns. Of course, I have some variations within that, but uh, I kind of decide basic uh, patterns I always try to follow. For example, in the blues, uh, like a 12-8 blues, 
I maybe maybe my bass line is often like. Something like that, or and the chord changes. I or something like that. So, um, the combination of these different techniques, I'm trying to play a blues. So no title, just improvisation on a 12-bar blues called Progression. I hope you like it.